Hi teachers, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to make any Google Forms activity into a self-grading activity or a self-grading quiz. So here I have a copy of some task cards and I'm going to go over here to the gear. I'm going to toggle over to quizzes and you have to choose here to make this a quiz. Now there's some settings in here. Uh, release grade immediately after each submission. You could choose that, but I, I tend to take that off because um, you know, it makes it a little less stressful for the kids. There's also respondent can see missed questions, correct answers, point values. I take all those off too. You toggle over to presentation. Uh, this show link to submit another response. You might want to take that off in case, uh, unless you have siblings in your class. And then general, collect email addresses. You can or, or you don't have to. Uh, and then you can save. There's other, there's other settings in here that probably all should be maybe unclicked, but you can make that choice. So I'm going to go down. We're going to uh, go down to a couple different question types and I'll show you how you can how you can uh, type in correct answers even if it's a short answer text. So if I click in this question here, there's going to be an answer key link here and uh, the answer here is slope is is negative three. So students might write in negative three only because there is also an, there, is, there is an m equals already. They might actually write m equals negative three or they might write slope is negative three or M space equals negative three or something like that. But you can think about the different answers that you would expect, uh, expect from the kids and put all of those in and then it would mark it correct if any of those answers were given. There's also a mark all other answers incorrect that you can check or not check. That depend, uh, depends on what you want to do. So you just push, push done and now when the student answers this question, uh, any of these answers that you typed in, if they type one of those, it'll be marked correct. Now, even with uh, with multiple choices, even easier. Click in the box here and click on answer key. We're going to choose the correct answer, and you can see there's it's green with a check box and oh, with a check mark and done. And that's it. Um, I hope this has been helpful.